But what is Down syndrome anyway? How is this possible? You don't know what Down syndrome is? No magic man in the sky. I don't. Say, who are you anyway? People call me different names. However, today I am your teacher. Now be amazed. Good. Now pay attention, mortal. We will begin with a brief overview and some history of Down syndrome. I recommend you take notes. These are the things teachers love to give tests on. So, Down syndrome was named after this man, John Langdon Down, who in the year 1866 described the syndrome as a genetic condition. Patients with this typically display unique physical and intellectual characteristics. However, those with Down syndrome are able to live healthy and fulfilling lives. So, is that it? No! I mean, I, I, should, I shouldn't have gotten angry. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Here, just clap your hands. Yeah, clap your hands. Oh. I know, it's cool every time. But what you summoned is known as a karyotype. It is basically a picture of the chromosomes in your body. All normal human cells, with the exception of egg and sperm cells, have 46 chromosomes, 23 from mom and 23 from dad. Inside each of these chromosomes contains DNA. DNA is essentially the data that determines who we are, but I want you to specifically look at chromosome pair 21 in this karyotype. There, that's better. Now we can see. But now I want you to take a look at chromosome pair number 21. How many chromosomes are there? Yes, two. I want you to keep note of this. Clap your hands again. We're now going to see a karyotype of someone with Down syndrome. As you can see, this karyotype is largely the same, with one key difference, however. When looking at chromosome pair 21, we see there are three, not two chromosomes. This three chromosome set is what causes Down syndrome. Did you change my clothes? Yes, mortal, I did. Just for fun. Uh, okay, so why is there an extra chromosome in pair 21? To find out, I'll need you to clap your hands again. Go ahead. So, to answer your question, we must first discuss meiosis. The process in which gametes, also known as sperm and egg cells, are formed. On your left, you can see the normal process of meiosis, in which one diploid cell containing a full set of genetic information divides into four haploid cells, also known as gametes, that contain half of your genetic information. However, however when you glance at the picture on your right, you can see that a phenomenon known as non-disjunction occurs. Hey, listen to me. Anyways. Non-disjunction means that chromosomes fail to separate, resulting in a cell with an extra chromosome. When that sperm or egg cell fertilizes with its opposite, Down syndrome occurs, as this offspring will have an extra chromosome. Okay. So now, mortal, by chance, do you know any of the symptoms that occurs in someone with Down syndrome? Well, they do have a uh, flat nasal bridge, a thin upper lip, and a upturned nose. Very good. You've been able to name some of the most common characteristics of those with Down syndrome. However, other characteristics include congenital heart disease, growth failure, mental retardation, and diminished muscle tone. So is there a cure? No, there is no known cure because it's a genetic condition that is derived through birth. Well, what is life like for people with Down syndrome? Living with Down syndrome can prove to be a challenge. However, recent improvements in the medicinal field, specifically those regarding cardiovascular surgery, have enabled those with Down syndrome to live longer and healthier lives. Many individuals diagnosed with Down syndrome have proven to be productive members of society. They work, attend school, and improve communities. So, Mr. Magic Man in the Sky, can you recap what you have just taught me? Why, I'd love to. We learned that Down syndrome was discovered in 1866 by John Langdon Down. We also learned that it is a genetic condition which occurs because of non-disjunction during meiosis. This causes a child to have an extra chromosome in chromosome pair 21. Those with Down syndrome also possess unique physical and mental characteristics that in no way hinder their ability to succeed. 
as if now there is no cure. However, those with Down syndrome are able to live enjoyable and fulfilling lives. Well, guys, thank you for watching. We hope you learned a lot about Down syndrome. Have a wonderful day.